Hello all, so Bad over here. So, okay, today we're going to have a little look at the research. I forgot exactly how much the Juggernaut cost. I think it might have been like 3.8 million, because I did say, you know, I'm guessing it's about 30 million for, uh, sorry, Grog I need. I think one of the legendaries may have finished. I think it could have been Black Bart. Then again, I think, no, I only started him yesterday. Sadie's in 3 hours 34. Ching Shi is in 10 hours 13, and Tinto is in 7 hours 12 minutes. So you know what, let's uh, try and get the maths going. Okay, so for Tinto, we don't have enough stuff. That's great. Fine by me. <laughs> uh, Ching Shi, we got enough for her. Helps if we hit the train button. 4 million grog are we going to need for her at some point. Uh, okay, so that's 4 million there. I also, I checked earlier, I think I've got like 29 walls left to do. So I'm going to have a real problem when it comes to dumping gold after those walls have been done. So I've really got to start focusing on my defences uh, at some point. So get all four bills be going straight on to uh, defences. Another 4 million grog there, so that's 8 million grog. Along with, you know, the, the amount of research we need. Uh, that's 11.6. What's that? Uh, that's another 4. 11. That's, what, 15.4? I had to squeeze and squint my eye for a minute. 19.4 <laughs> plus 8. Yeah, it's 20.2 or 21.2. I've lost count now. So, that's, uh, yeah, that's 20 odd mil. And then, obviously, I can't remember what else it was. Yes, uh, in here, we've got three lots now to do. Skills available. We've done all the witch doctor. Really? Okay. Well, that's great. <laughs> Uh, we're not going to complain. Did we do the voodoo hut? Come here, we. You can't check. I'm pretty sure I upgraded the voodoo hut. Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, okay, so there's three or three point two. That's getting us towards the mid twenties. In obviously million. And we've still got a fair bit there to do. But yeah, I'll I'll do the toughness, or maybe I will do the stun deflection, then the toughness boost. So that's going to cost a fair bit. Then you've got the priestess as well there. But I'm going to do her attack first because I'm going to get into this lullaby increase duration of 99 by 3 plus seconds that is big that's major and 4.2 so yeah that's getting towards like the 30 mil mark so it wasn't a bad guess yesterday I'll let someone else do the accurate maths if they uh, feel like they want to okay so I want to show you a raid I've done today did I have a defense replay to show yeah well that's 100% that is a part all 11 <laughs> <laughs> Unlike the one yesterday, but then you know that 52% I did sort of show you and look at that That's you know amazing. Wow, and in the use no legendary. I'm shocked about that So these troops must have been fully maxed must have had this one down to a T I'm not even gonna watch that, but there's an attack replay that I do want to show you today It wasn't a hundred percent, but I feel uh, the way the base layer is set up and because it's a millionaire raid I have to show you this replay so it was using the same or similar troop setup as yesterday. So let's quickly pause this while I do a little bit of talking. The thing that I'm good at. <laughs> so it's one of these base designs, you know, it's got the double walls and you've got the flame gates and openings coming in this direction. So when you start to deploy your troops, your troops are going to come along this wall and start to walk around the outside and come inwards. Which we all know is a massive pain so we need to then use our gameplay to try to get our way in through the walls and into the center of the base where it's going to be weakest it's always strongest uh, in this direction here because you've got the grand pounders then you've got the mortars here and they're covered by the grand pounders and the grand pounders are covered by the mortars hope you're following me on that one but we then we need to use our gameplay we've got to sacrifice some troops it's always going to work their way around in there and you know sacrificial lambs we'll call them but let's start playing this and you'll see. So I put my line of gunners in. There's a Mystic Mortar there, a brand new cannon. So it's like a new Pirate Hall 10 with Pirate Hall 8 walls, but Pirate Hall 9 defences. So we're starting to clear out our outer buildings now. We're using Annabelle, so I just need to pause this. The volume's a little bit too loud for, oh, wrong way, for me to concentrate. And I won't be able to commentate with that blasting in my ears. So now that's disappeared, let's play it again. 
and we're using Annabelle, so I've put Annabelle in there. You know, I really despise Annabelle. Everyone knows that watches my videos. Cannot stand. I think her AI is absolutely weak. Managed to lock up just two defenses, but I need to lock something up because them gun towers will hurt my bombers trying to get through those walls. We've got a priestess there and a priestess there that's gone in. Um, I, you know, I didn't want to keep one back. I just wanted to get those in the raid. Uh, and, and try and lock up some defences around this area. In comes the Grand Pandas, starting to hit my men quite hard now. Uh, sorry, I've deployed one Priestess. The second one's gone in there. I'm going to use that. Now she locks up a bunch of defences, one of those being a Mortar. All our Gunners are here, concentrating on the Pirate Hall. Annabelle managed to do a little bit of healing there. And I think, obviously, uh, abilities on the cooldown. We took out gr two Grand Pandas, a Mortar's gone there. The other Mortar's being focused by the Gunners, the Heavy Gunners in there as well. We've got uh, Juggernauts here, we used their ability, we really go into town now on their defences, but you know, there's no tanks apart from the Brute here, no tanks in the middle of the base, so I'm having to try and um, use their abilities, we've got a couple of Gunners here, we're getting real, real low, but look at the resources we're taking, we've almost taken, we've got a couple of Gunners here, and Annabelle comes into play, so she comes in right at the right moment there, we lock up the a well, no use to us, the Gun Tower and a Cannon, don't get all the Gun Towers, but that gives us enough time for the Heavy gunner there's ultra low and for some reason animal does want to heal him get some shots onto the gun tower there you go he goes down but now because we're healing the juggernauts all the loot's been taken we're not going to get the hundred percent i do manage to take out a couple of these buildings the legendary fort gets real low and so does the ship so i wanted to show this replay and there's plenty of time left on this to show you that we've concentrating enough and really planning out your attack when attacking similar base designs to this that's going to make your troops go inwards we need to clear those outlining buildings and then obviously let our troops start to come around here so they get focused by some of the defenses going to be around this area then we need to start getting our bombers in and we need to make that path into this uh, center of the core of the base here and that's why you want to not deploy all of your tanks and you don't want to deploy all of your gunners so then when the hole is busted, the AI will work in the way that the troops will come into the gap and then disperse into the base. So I keep mentioning about AI, I am trying to do as many sort of videos as possible, um, you know, relating to the AI and explain it as and when I can. So I hope this video has helped you. And it was a millionaire raid, so it needed to be shown. Unfortunately, not a free star, but I didn't you know, use a decent legendary pirate, she she was okay this raid, but I didn't use guild ship troops, and never will, um, and don't even in rumbles, you know, if it's a guild event, like a thunderstruck, uh, then, then I'll use guild ship troops, because it's for the guild, um, and I don't personally use them, if you do, you would have, you know, won this raid using guild ship troops, because you had the extra, you know, however many capacity it is for your guild ship that you're using, so thanks for watching all, I hope this has helped you learn, thanks for watching, and bye for now.